I'm here in my consulting room to talk about art because my consulting room is decorated with my paintings and art has always been very much a part of what I do in existential therapy. Not that I encourage clients to do art, which of course is always a good idea, but simply because I feel that my painting and my writing and my singing are all very much an intrinsic part of me as a person and therefore of me as a therapist as well. So I like to have my paintings around me. They create a particular atmosphere of my creativity, of the kind of images that I like and that I enjoy and that I have spent time painting and that are symbols for me, that show me, remind me of the kind of feelings I had when I was painting them and how I use my painting to focus on different worlds and to kind of get into that world, a different mode of being, you know? It is about belonging with nature. It is about trees very often. It is about the colors of nature and the different seasons. It is about going out for walks and discovering new things in the world. It is about engaging with life and being part of it in a very embodied, visceral, real way. So yes, for me art is life. It is a core part of life and it is the kind of life where you can be what you want to be and you can immerse yourself in the world. You don't have to be objective or achieve a certain standard of accomplishment. You do what feels right to you and you seek to unify yourself with what you want to represent, what you want to express, what is important to you. Art is not about perfection and it is not about competition. It is about breathing yourself in the world and expressing yourself and connecting to what will help you create a good atmosphere for your own life. So obviously it is very important to show to other people that that's how you live. That is how you renew yourself. That's how you recreate yourself. How you find that deep spiritual connection to your own ideas, your own presence in the world, and how you are not afraid to share that with others, even though you are aware that you never aspire to be a great artist or a great singer because I share my songs on YouTube as well. What you do is to claim the freedom to experience and the freedom to be. And that is what art is about, opening yourself up to your innermost experience and deepening it instead of being afraid of it or excluding it and that's why art and creativity liberate us so much and that liberation, that freedom are what allow us to move forward in therapy as well. <laughs>